prices declined more than 5% in February to a two-month low. What are your views on the prices? Well, I think in January, um, the crude oil prices really went up uh, mainly because of optimism and just relief that um, the, we averted the U.S. fiscal cliff and there was no Eurozone default. So in February, uh, prices um, started to come back down um, with the increase in uh, crude stocks and also with the drop in Chinese manufacturing activity. And then there's also this political um, uncertainty in Italy. Um, there are a lot of concerns about whether the um, government, about the new government in Italy and whether that will have any impact on the Eurozone demand growth. So I think that in the short term, we will probably see uh, prices drift um, a little bit lower unless we see um, very positive data from China um, that shows a continued economic recovery. And also you've got this um, um, US budget cuts um, which would probably put a, a ceiling on the price gains. So I think we could just drift a little bit lower in the very short term for crude oil prices. How do you read the OPEC increase in the output for the previous month and whether there is demand for that extra shipment? Well, actually, um, OPEC did project that um, demand for its crude in the second quarter would be just under 29 uh, million barrels per day. So I think that we could see um, supply exceed demand a little bit in terms of the um, OPEC um, supplies. Uh, but I think that the OPEC member states would be very reluctant to significantly cut their production because there is some recovery um, in, the, um, in the world economic and also because I think they'd be fearful that, um, you know, to cut um, production when there are still some economies that are still, still struggling. So um, we might see a little bit of excess um, supplies, I think, going into second quarter. Much of the price increase has been due to easy monetary policies from Japan, Europe and the US. How do you read this going forward? Uh, yeah, there was uh, some doubts earlier about um, whether the US Federal Reserve will continue its um, quantitative um, easing policy. But I believe the um, US um, Federal Reserve Chairman did make clear uh, to Congress um, recently that he, they are committed um, to continuing the stimulus uh, measures because the U.S. economic recovery is still very uh, modest and it's still needed. And even in Japan, um, the Prime Minister and also the prospective um, Bank of Japan governor are of the view that um, monetary stimulus is needed to uh, uh, lead to a demand growth, a stimulate demand growth, weaken the yen and um, arrest the uh, deflation. So I think we're going to, con see, to con uh, continue to see uh, monetary stimulus and um, I think the indication from Japan is that it could come as early potentially as um, next month. The Iran nuclear program build-up has added a premium to the crude oil prices. What are your views on the Middle East issues in terms of prices? The meeting um, between Iran and the um, five uh, major world powers in Almaty actually uh, ended without significant progress. But they did. Um, uh, there is plans for um, another meeting um, in uh, March. Um, a technical meeting and also at a diplomatic level, um, I believe, in early April. So I think that as long as talks continue and um, Iran comes to the table, the market would be a lot less nervous about the Iran situation. I mean, obviously, Iran is having an impact on oil prices because U.S. sanctions and EU sanctions have reduced the supplies of Iran crude into the, um, into the global market. But at this point, it looks as if it's more the economic issues and concerns about um, slipping oil demand that is uh, more um, in focus rather than the Middle East issues.